everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make a card using our potted geraniums bundle. It's new in our new annual catalog. Um, my previous video, I showed how to stamp the geraniums, but this card, we're gonna use the dies to uh, make the geraniums. The dies um, are fabulous, as well as the stamps. I, I said in my previous video, this wasn't on my radar at the beginning, but now I love this bundle. So we're gonna make two geraniums in white. Um, the, the way that I think, the, be the best way I think to put these together is to use adhesive sheets, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna need adhesive sheets on the top layers. So we'll cut out the bottom layers first and then go back and do our top layers. So first, we need to cut out our pots and they don't require any stamping. Um, we're just gonna do um, some inking on them. So you're gonna wanna cut out two pots. And while we're here, we'll also cut out the back side of those flowers. Okay, so let me see hmm, the best way to do this. We'll do it on the left side. I wanna see if I can leave enough room for the top layer of those flowers. We're gonna do the exact same thing since we have two sets. Nope, I think we're gonna need a whole new piece of cardstock. Okay, so there's that. Got the, the bottom layers and our pot. So let's move those out of the way. Now, if you haven't used our adhesive sheets, you need to check them out in our adhesive section of the catalog. They are, they come six by 12. I cut them down so that we'll have them in a reasonable size. And it's like a, a sticker. It's like a double-sided adhesive, basically. When I cut it out, we'll peel off those layers and they uh, will, that will turn it into a sticker. That really makes it so much easier to adhere, All right? So again, we're gonna do that in basic white. And I wanna make sure that I get it on that adhesive. There we go. Okay, and then we've got that one. All right, so there are two top layers. One thing you wanna keep in mind is that when you add adhesive, it makes the paper thicker. So run your die through a couple of times to make sure that cut goes all the way through. Okay, now for the back layer of the um, leaves, I'm gonna use Old Olive. For the top layer, we're gonna use Garden Green. Again, we need adhesive sheets. And there's another. All right, so now we'll get the, here is the back layer or the front layer and let's run those through. There we go, now we gotta switch it around so that we have two of them. And now it's just a case of getting these all put together. So let's move our cut and emboss machine out of the way. And I will tell you when I put these leaves together first, the first time, I really couldn't figure it out. I um, couldn't figure out how it went together. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna help you so you don't have that problem. Okay, I've got those peeled out. So let's turn these and Lay these down, lining them up. Let me pick this up so I can see it a little bit better. All right, and then you just stick that one down like that. All right, and now this one. Again, I keep wanting to turn those up. They need to be turned down, downward. All right, now let's do the top layers of our flowers. Carefully peel off that adhesive backing. It's very delicate, so be careful as you peel. Let's see if I can get this one to come off. 
All right, and then you're just gonna lay it down on the flower, the bottom flower like that. And then let's get this one. And we're gonna carefully pull that off like that. Okay. And stick that down onto that top or that bottom layer like that. Okay, so we'll set those aside. One thing I want to do to our pots is um, we're going to distress them a little bit with some crumb cake. So I've got my blending brush and I'm just going to kind of ink all the edges. Make it look like it's been sitting outside for a while. Right now I'm going to use this stamp right here from Oceanfront uh, to add just a little bit of texture again to our pots. Okay, I'm just going to kind of put that there in the corner like that. Like that. Okay, let's put this all together now. I have an old olive card base and I cut a piece of DSP. This is the Design a Daydream designer series paper from the very back of the catalog. It's one of your free stamp and reward choices. I've got three strips of craft cardstock. All the measurements of these pieces are on my blog today on a, in a free PDF. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on the bottom step here in garden green. Okay, and we'll start with that one. I kind of, you know, my idea for this card was like porch steps. There's a house here that I see when I'm walking that has steps up to the house and she always has red geraniums on her porch. So that's kind of, kind of the idea I had here with this. There we go. Now let's get some dimensionals and I'm gonna start with mini dimensionals for our, our pots. And we wanna put these rims of our pots here on the edge. Okay, so grab that, put that one there. Let me move that over a bit. There we go. And then this one right here. All right. Now I'm going to use regular dimensionals to set them over here on the steps. I'm going to put my dimensionals low because we're gonna stick those geraniums down in there and I gotta leave room for that. So I'm gonna put one right there and then the other one is gonna go right here. Now we'll take these, our greenery, and add those with dimensionals too. I like dimensionals in case you haven't noticed. I'm a dimensionals fan. I like everything to have a lot of dimension on my projects. We'll stick that one down. Let's see how I want to do that. Like that. All right, and then now for these, we're gonna use many dimensionals on these as well. Um, I am going to put some pearls in those spaces where there are holes, so they will be, um, you won't be able to see those dimensionals. Okay, the mini dimensionals can be a little tedious. I'm gonna put it on those stems, but I'm gonna have that little guy out front. All right, ahead of time, I cut out two little signs, little uh, picks that go in the plants. And so I'm gonna, um, you know what, I think we can use big dimensionals here, let's see. 
Yep. I'm going to put a dimensional there and just tuck that down in the pot like that. All right. And then if you run into the dimensional that's in there, you can cut this off. So I might have trouble. See? So what I'm going to do is cut about half of it off and stick it down there. No one will ever know like that. Okay. Now I wanted to add some little centers to my um, flower. So I am using our new iridescent pearls, the little ones, and I'm going to just add those to the center of each of these flowers. Cover up any of those many dimensionals that you might be able to see. And then we are done. Now, if you wanted to add a ribbon or a bow, I would suggest linen thread. I decided to leave it off. Um, but I think that would be a nice addition as well. All right, there you have it. I hope you like this card. Um, if you are looking for more potted geranium ideas, make sure you stop by my blog. Um, I've got two others on that blog post and then one on before and after coming. So I've got lots of ideas for you. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.